The Child Safety Commissioner may investigate the case of three children left in the care of a suspected paedophile. The Community Services Minister has determined it is appropriate for the three little girls to stay with a man suspected of child abuse because he isn't allowed to look after them alone. Lisa Neville says the man has been cleared of any wrongdoing and her department now agrees. Josie Taylor reports. Lisa Neville says three little girls are safe when they're cared for by a man her department once judged to be a child abuser. He's no longer a foster carer? By choice. Was uh, threatened with deregistration as a foster carer? So, uh, the, can I, so there was a police investigation. At that point, people uh, do not continue at a foster care while those investigations go on. Her department told the ABC yesterday an allegation against the man was proven, a view backed by the girl's grandmother. The minister says there was no conclusive evidence the man had abused a foster child. The department, however, because of concerns had been raised, took a cautious view and with voluntary agreement with the family, it was agreed that there would not be unsupervised contact and that continues. Statements from DHS on the case have changed four times in the last three days. That latest change is the department's refusal to answer questions on the case for legal reasons, despite the minister's public comments on the case today. The ABC has contacted the foster care agency the man was registered with. It's also refused to comment. The Premier backs his minister and her department. They always um, have the child's interests at heart. We need to move from a reactionary, crisis-driven model, which it obviously is now, into a service-driven model. Child Safety Commissioner Bernie Geary wants to investigate the case. He's concerned the girls are sometimes cared for by someone they can't be left alone with. I think it makes things difficult and uh, a little bit unrealistic. Any inquiries that I make will be at the behest of the Minister and I'll wait and see if that happens. That's because Mr Geary's powers don't allow him to get involved without the Minister's permission. Josie Taylor, ABC News, Melbourne.